Well, what's up everyone, Darren here. Today in this video, we're gonna dive into our cafe experiences while we were in Budapest. And Budapest has some exquisite cafes. We made a visit to a few of them, really great experiences, and we're gonna share that with you and hopefully help you on your journey when you travel to Budapest. Hopefully this gives some insight to some cafes that you might wanna visit. We will share our opinions on them and we'll even have a bonus at the end. In this video, we're going to start off with the New York Cafe. Here at the New York Cafe. As soon as we entered, I think that we were both pretty taken back at what this place actually looks like on the inside. The background music, it was just totally uh, unexpected. It was so beautiful that we just we just ordered our buffet. We, we took the buffet and we had to explore this venue because it was just so captivating. We were looking around, filming and everything on the walls, the ceiling, everything is just a work of art. As you can see here, the buffet was beautifully laid out. Everything, so many options, everything was in pristine condition. Um, the fruits were cut so nicely and it just looked like great presentation. This place had great presentation for the buffet and I was super excited when I saw this juice bar. I was over the moon and this was probably my favorite part about the whole buffet. Wow. Oh, cafe latte. We have grapefruit. Some buffet items. What coffee do you get? Americana? The buffet included all of those lovely options as well as a hot meal and hot drink, all for about 30 euro each. So it is a bit more on the pricier side of things, but considering what this place has in store in terms of the music, the, the visuals, and just the overall environment here is just so lively that I would say it was totally worth it. And not long after, we found ourselves on the hotel side of things in this beautiful room. Uh, can't imagine what it's like to stay here, but we have to try it next time. And just as we were about to leave, we were captivated by this wonderful musical performance. was such an unexpected surprise and honestly I think it just put the cherry on the cake for our experience here at the New York Cafe. It was such a delight to come here and I would totally recommend that anyone in the area of Budapest come check this place out. It is truly amazing. It's definitely on the pricier side of things but definitely worth the breakfast buffet and this lovely treat of live music that we got here today. Yeah. The next cafe on our list is the Cafe Gerbeau. So, here is where Cafe Gerbeau, we're gonna have 
apricot liqueur coffee with I think apricot shavings and whipped cream. Highly anticipated. Mm -hmm. There's a long line, so we're gonna go line up. Okay. This is Cafe Gerbo, one of the higher end cafes in Budapest, and we were looking forward to this place so much. I was so excited to finally try the specialty coffee uh, made with apricot liqueur. I've read so much about it and was glad that I finally got the opportunity to actually taste it. They did have more lunch items on the menu, but this was a bit later in the day and we just decided to keep it light with some snacks. So I'm right, a lot to first, first taste. Who's going first? The two or three of us? This is water. Yeah, it's water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were putting a shot in that thing. Oh. I just want to dump it in on both. I just want to dump it in oh, there. Can you imagine? <laughs> Where is the sprinkles? Whoa. Well? Not like any other latte I've ever tasted. Like what, bad? Tasty? Sweet? It's good. Very almondy. Almondy. Is it apricot? It's, it's apricot. And I got this roll too. What is that? Walnuts, apricot roll? More apricot. Oh, wow. The coffee and snacks tasted wonderful. The apricot latte had a distinct taste to it. And yes, I could taste the alcohol in it. And I was really glad that I got to try it. And I'm happy for paying the price to come here and taste it out. This environment was definitely a lot different from Cafe New York. Not sure if it was just the time of day, but this setting was a lot quieter and maybe almost even too quiet. And as soon as we walked in, we knew that this was a very fancy place and it does come with a higher price tag than a regular cafe, but it's well worth it to try for the experience and we're glad that we came here and tried it. And uh, we just had a snack and a drink. It was a letdown after this morning, personally. It was still nice. Just I found that the atmosphere was not as nice as the New York Cafe. Yeah, definitely not as lively as New York Cafe, but definitely on the higher end of things. But you know when higher end is just too higher end, like it's calm, quiet, people seem a little bit too classy. Yeah. New York Cafe was like perfect, classy, but still good. New York Cafe was much more loud. <clears throat> and like, Lively and upbeat and happy. Lively in New York Cafe. But this was, yeah, this was, um, this was also lunchtime too. So that might have played a part into it. Yeah. I'd say that the drink that we had, the apricot liqueur that I was looking forward to, did live up to expectations. I'd probably give that like a 7.7 7 out of 10. Give it a 6.9. Uh-huh. I liked it. It's definitely a unique flavor. Let's go down this way. A unique flavor for any latte that I've ever had in my life. <clears throat> and uh, a little, I think I had like a, a bun, apricot bun. Went all out with the apricots today, but the drink was, Almond was based. definitely sweet on the sweet side of things. And I think the um, apricot liqueur uh, played a part in that too. So yeah, Cafe Gerbal would definitely recommend it. Next on our list is Circus Cafe. Now, we did not plan on coming here. We just happened to stumble upon this place and what a great thing it was to stumble upon this place. The energy in this place was awesome, lively, full of people, music going, and you know what, that's a really good thing considering that this was a Tuesday morning. I like the artwork. We're super eager to try some of their high quality coffee and they also have great portion sizes with their meals here. And what do you have now? Latte. Cafe latte. And Connor's got drinking my latte already. Cafe latte. Lovely. And I got I got a green juice. And this thing called a cortado. Whichever one this is. And then a green juice to balance it out. And Mal likes the look of it because it's so tiny. So what are your dishes? What's yours? Uh, guacamole uh, on and like eggs on toast. Guac and like eggs on toast. Kind of like egg benedict, but we chose guacamole instead of toast. And Mal, would you get French French toast and what? Side of, uh, breakfast potatoes. 
breakfast potatoes. And then you also got same thing. the same thing as well. Is that saffron on top? We are on our way to possibly what is the fanciest McDonald's is in, in, Europe. Yeah, in Europe. Oh! And we're here. So we're gonna see our first impressions of the fanciest McDonald's in Europe. And um, I'm not much of a McDonald's person, but she is, she is. And we'll see what it's like on the inside. Okay, let's go. Look at this. And this is our bonus cafe on the list here today. And you know what? This is a bonus because you would never think to come to McDonald's for an experience. But this McDonald's is like no other. This is considered as one of the most beautiful McDonald's in the world, located off of the train station. This was one of the cafes that we had planned to visit and initially I was not a big fan of coming to a McDonald's but I am so glad that I got the opportunity to experience what this one is like here in Budapest. It is absolutely beautiful and you still get to pay only McDonald's prices for your food and drinks. This is insane. This is insane. And as you can see, the super high ceilings, the giant windows, and the artwork all over the place makes for quite an experience here. And you know what? I also think that they have more feature items in their McCafe here. Here is our meals. Our drinks. I mean, donut and drink. Cafe. This is cappuccino. Look, it's in the shape of a turnip. Guys. Like this is crazy. This is crazy. And cafe latte. Cafe latte. Wow, McDonald's on Bramling Sandal was not doing this for you. No, no, it's not. So what do you think? It's cute. Let me show them. And that's all for our review here. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment. We're going to include as much information as possible in the description. We would highly recommend all of these cafes during your time here in Budapest for the best experience. So thank you for watching again. Take care and enjoy.